Our next guest tonight enjoyed last year so much, they did it again last night. Bedford North Lawrence with back-to-back 4A state championships, but with a twist this time around, 1990, BNL. Mr. Basketball, Damon Bailey, of course, was the head coach and the state champion. Lady Stars join us tonight on Sunday Sports Extra. Welcome and congratulations, everyone. And I love the fact you brought the trophy. You had to bring the trophy, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Now, a couple of girls didn't make it. Didn't make the trip, but I want you to go around and introduce and say hi to everybody real quick. Okay, Jenna, go ahead. Jenna Allen. Uh, Brittany Rizzi. Dominique McBride. Whitney Wilson. Caitlin Poole. Sammy Dillon. Alexa Bailey. Kennedy Wall. Aaron Bradley. Lauren Bailey. Emily Riley. They, they actually went back and forth like that. That was intentional. You guys did a great job with that. Good coaching. That's, That's right. No doubt That's about right. it. Uh, back to back. Uh, how does this feel? It's been 24 hours. Is it kind of set in here a little bit? A, a little bit. Uh, obviously, we, we had a goal to uh, uh, to repeat and uh, you know played a lot of very talented teams along the way. And you know this is a great group of kids. I, I'm extremely happy for them. They put in a lot of time and effort throughout the years to to have the the type of success that they're having the last couple of years. What did you guys think of last night? It was emotional there towards the end, wasn't it? It was amazing. Yeah. That's it? <laughs> 28 and 29 games, it's amazing, that's it? Good night? Drop the mic, you walk off. <laughs> but how, how cool was it, though, last night? It was really special with all these girls, because we've grown up together, and Damon playing with him since we were little tots in third grade, <laughs> and our uniforms were so big, you couldn't even see our numbers, and we've grown up all together, and to play and win two state tournaments with them is amazing. You guys played, I thought, some of the toughest teams out there. I mean, the, the schedule was no slouch whatsoever, was it? No, definitely. I mean, you know, it starts in our sectional. Uh, obviously, uh, a lot of HHC opponents, so teams that we see during the regular season. You, you know, last weekend in the semi state, uh, you, you know. You avenged the loss. <laughs> right. I, Lawrence North. Right. right. I mean, we were able to uh, to get a victory. And, you know, and in my opinion, uh, you know, one of the greatest, not only high school girls basketball games, but really one of the, the greatest high school games, uh, you know, in the history of basketball. Uh, you know, two very deserving teams of being there, two teams that uh, you know, just played extremely hard, extremely well. You know, we were fortunate to, to make some plays down the stretch and, uh, you know, and, and able to get on to, uh, uh, you know, playing pins. So, you know, for us to beat the, the top ranked, the third ranked, and the fourth, fourth ranked team, uh, you know, along the way, you know, obviously these kids have, have, have earned the right to be here. As the reigning state champs, though, I mean, everybody's gunning for you. Right? What's that like? What's that pressure like? It's a pretty big pressure, you know. And uh, as a team, we rely on each other for, you know, that confidence. And, you know, we never get down on each other. We always are picking each other up and just getting through the season. And we got to the state championship, and that's what we were hoping for. I thought it was interesting. I asked you earlier in the week, and, and you mentioned that uh, Coach Bailey is actually just called Damon. Uh, around is that pretty much the way it is? Oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah. You guys have probably a few other things from time to time, <laughs> but you don't know about that. No. So. But I mean, what's it like to to have a coach? I mean, let alone the fact, okay, it's Damon Bailey. There's a great history of Bedford North Lawrence there with him. But I mean, just to have the same coach really as you've grown up, what a great benefit that's been for you guys. It's a little different for my sister and I because it's our dad. Right. But growing up and you know playing together for him has brought us closer with each other and him. We know what he wants, how he wants it done, and so that in turn, you know, we know what each other are going to do, and it, yeah. it just helps us out in the long run. What's it like to have a couple daughters on a team? I mean, you're the coach, A, but you're also a dad, you know? Well, it, it, it's something special, obviously, as a, as a parent, to be able to, uh, you know, experience this with your kids. Uh, you know, and as a coach, you spend a lot of time away from your family, and I have, a, obviously, a wife and a, and a son as well. And, and to be able to spend it with, uh, you know, my two daughters is, is really special. But, you know, these kids... Uh, you know, as they said, you know, it's something that we've grown up together, and, and I really refer to all of them as my kids. Uh, when were you guys born? What year, approximately? 96. Throughout a year. 96, 96 95. 97. Okay, so. Oh, okay, so anyway, that said, how much video have you actually seen of Damon playing back in the late 80s, early 90s at well, North Lawrence? We get more. You get some. At home. Yeah, but. So. Some of you guys probably have never seen this. Yeah, we, we dusted off some old video. Uh, let's roll this in. Back to uh, 1990. The, look at Damon there, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. 
Uh, this, of course, is at the Hoosier Dome, first ever state finals there. And Dunk it. Wait, no, did you ever dunk? Uh, every now and then. Every now and then, so I don't know. Uh, but yeah, look at those shorts. I love how the girls, look at those shorts, <laughs> coach. What were, you th what were we thinking back then, anyway? You know, your coach could play. News flash. I've been you know. trying to tell them that. I'm not See, sure they the, believe me. This is video. We have video proof. <laughs> the 1990 station. Now, I mean, let me ask you this: as a guy who grew up playing really at level, every level, high school, college, and in the pros, then coaching girls. What's is there a difference there? Do you know? I'll tell you what. I, I obviously coached the boys there at, uh, at Bedford for a couple of years, and I really have enjoyed coaching on the girls' side of things. Obviously, it's a lot of pressure. Um, you know, it's a, it's a lot of time. It's a lot of sacrifices that, that a lot of people make. But uh, you know, we've had a ball doing it. Your coach had hair back then too. Obviously. <laughs> it was right down the middle. That Steve Alford look, right. right? Parted down right. the middle. So anyway, uh, pretty cool. All right. So what's next for you guys now? Do you enjoy this? Do you get right back at it? Uh, there's a, three juniors on the starting five coming back, right? What's next for you guys? I think we just let it sink in a little longer. You know, and kind of celebrate it a little more since we have six leaving. Yeah. So that's a big chunk Which is of Which sad. Team. I know there's some tears being shed last night because yeah. of that reason, so. And then we'll get geared up for next year. You can do it again, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what LN and those other schools have to say about it when it's all said and done. But, I mean, you guys can really make a push at a three-peat here, can't you? Well, I mean, obviously that's that's going to be our goal. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think it's every, every going to be every team's goal. And, uh, you know, obviously we're losing six kids that have been, you know, very instrumental in, in getting this program back to where, you know, at Bedford North Lawrence we feel that, that it rightly deserves to, to, to be, and that's right. at the top. Uh, you know, but we have seven kids, uh, you know, coming back. And, uh, you know, I, I've talked to these kids, um, you know, before that, that that we've been on a heck of a ride for the last couple of years, and from a coaching staff standpoint, we're not ready to get off of it yet. You expect to see them in the gym when? Tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. I, I gave them the day work. off, but we'll uh, <laughs> hopefully they'll get back in there tomorrow. Anyway, hold up the trophy if you can. The thing's pretty heavy. Uh, we're going to go to break. Uh, you guys celebrating yet uh, another state championship there at Bedford North Lawrence. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. And who knows, we might be doing this again next year. Okay? Thank you. Bedford Thank North you. Lawrence, the 4A state champions right here on Sunday Sports Extra.